So here's where it is right now, just swirling over Puerto Rico, bringing them a lot of flooding. Um, and there is a risk to see some mudslides as well. So lots of rain over that area. Here's what it looks like. It hasn't quite yet formed the eye, uh, but it is very close. National Hurricane Center expecting this thing to become a hurricane by the time we do get to uh, just before eight this morning. So we'll keep checking on that. Here's where it currently is still a tropical storm, but uh, you can see it's going to be cat category one a little bit later on and then as it, we continue throughout the week going to gain strength becoming category two and then becoming a major hurricane looking at a category three and going to go projected right over Bermuda. So we'll keep a check on that. That goes all the way until Saturday when Bermuda could get hit. But in the meantime, lots of rain happening uh, for the Virgin Islands and also for Puerto Rico. Not expected to impact us in any way. And then the tropics on after that are staying on the quiet side. Now, as far as what's happening with us back at home, we're still talking about the heat. We have been talking about it for what seems like forever. But yes, obviously it is summer a heat advisory for everyone. But National Weather Service is right on the edge of of possibly issuing an excessive heat warning for all the areas around Lake Pontchartrain. So very likely could see an increase in heat as we are heading throughout the rest of the afternoon. So not only do we have heat, but we have to talk about the air quality. We do have an air quality alert that starts at 6 a.m. goes all the way until midnight. But as of right now, your air quality, if you were to go outside right now, it's moderate, so it's not terrible. But as we get later into the day, we'll start to see these colors really brighten up and we'll get into that unhealthy category. So if you have respiratory uh, illnesses or asthma or pregnant women it's advised that you don't stay outside for too long for today and also advised to get gas after 6 p.m. just to kind of help out with the atmosphere your temperature is right now we're into the 70s and some 80s so we're all not terrible uh, obviously it is muggy I'm going to stay that way uh, looking at cooler temperatures on the north shore and then your bus stop forecast for you going to stay pretty quiet we'll see that for most mornings because a lot of the rain not expected to come until we get to the afternoon uh, so as far as your heat index, going to see numbers get all the way up to 113. That's very possible. Uh, once we do hit about 1 to 3 p.m., that's when we'll get that big heat for the day and that continues on. So even for tonight, still going to be on the hot side. Your high temperatures for today expected to be into the mid to upper 90s. And yes, very possible. Some of us could reach 199 for slide L. Uh, that's close enough to 100. And again, just know not going to feel like that actual temperature going to be a whole lot hotter than that. Not only that, we do have a couple chances for some showers, not big chances, got a 20% chance, but we could see some of this start to develop right around noon, but look at this on the North Shore. We'll start to see more of that rain pop in. And this is where we could see some of those thunderstorms, gusty winds possible for us. I know uh, yesterday some of us did have a uh, pretty um, heavy thunderstorms happening over the area. And then you can see once we get to 5 p.m. passing through Bogalusa, going to Covington and then heading on across the lake down to the South Shore. So expect some showers to continue on and off, even still impacting Hobo by the time we get to 8 p.m. So these could last a little longer for today. Then we'll get a break in there and then we'll start to see another round of showers and thunderstorms once we do get to our Thursday. So that summertime pattern is continuing. But Thursday as of right now looks like we could see a little bit more rain in your forecast. All right, so here's a look at your WDSU first warning seven day forecast 90s here on out and we are staying well above average. No relief in sight at all and impact days will continue all the way through Saturday. So 